What's good, guys? The YouTuber formerly known as Gamer92. Uh, this your boy Ricky. Uh, with Rebel Rick Gaming, you know. That's my new name. Uh, so my first my first video of 2019, I believe. Official video. I did do a stream of, uh, what game was that? Greedfall, I believe. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's official. I'm bringing back the unboxings, even though the reason I don't do unboxings is because... I get like 90% of my games from Gamefly because they sell them. I get them at 10% off. So, pretty much, I just found out that Walmart also sells games around the same price I pay for my games over at Gamefly. So, I took the initiative to try and go and do that today when I sideswiped uh, this game out of my queue, which. You probably already know from the title, I'm unboxing Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I've been waiting for this game. Wait for a game like haven't We haven't had a game like this, I believe, since the Legacy of Goku games on uh, the Game Boy Advance. And then uh, Boo's Fury, I believe that was like a, a sequel to Legacy of Goku 2, but they switched up the name. But we haven't had a game like that since then. I also got the Season Pass and I pre-ordered The Last of Us, the, I think the Special Edition. I pre-ordered that, and also went ahead and got the season pass for this game. I rarely ever get season pass, but I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. Like I said, I even got like Fighters. I've been playing that recently. That's why it's sitting up here on my stand. Also got a uh, got a pretty much any Dragon Ball Z game that came out this generation. I got them, and I played almost all of them. I want to say I played all of them that's ever coming out. Like I always get them, so yeah, why not get this? But the thing is, I went to Walmart to get it. Oh, I swear, I'm never buying games from Walmart. At least the one in my neighborhood. I'm not going to that one anymore for new game releases. Those people are so unprofessional. Like, I want to ask them, like, excuse me, do y'all have the... Because they have the label out for it. But you can tell they didn't put the game out yet. Because they got, like, different games in the spot where the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot supposed to go. So I asked the lady, where have y'all went and put out the games yet? And she's like, we got everything we got on the card. We already put everything out. I'm like, are you sure? Because it says it coming out today and y'all got the signs on display over there saying out available now. Y'all don't even have the label up for the Xbox One version. Like, I was scouting it. They didn't even have Tokyo Mirage Sessions out. Because I was also going to get that. But I got that coming from Gamefly, thank God. And the lady's like, yeah, everything we have out there. I'm like, well, can you go in the back and check? She was using every excuse not to go see if they had the game. I know they had it in the back. I should have asked one manager. I just wasn't feeling it today, so I just... I went over to the McDonald's, got me some breakfast, waited till 10 o'clock, headed to GameStop, and got it from there. The guy was bothering me about the season pass, but you know what? I said I'm going to get it anyway down the road, so I might as well get it now. Then I dropped 20 bucks on the last one, so I ain't going to get that paid off, because I'd rather get that from GameStop than Walmart, especially this Walmart. But anyway, let's get to the unboxing. As you see, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, like I said, I got the season pass. Let's get into it. I couldn't find my... Safety knife, so I'm using a little screwdriver. Yeah, let's go. Can't believe it's my first unboxing in like almost like two years. I don't really do unboxings no more. I think I did one for Death Stranding. Yeah, the had the steel book for that one, so I did do one in December. But yeah, so we're gone. I am definitely doing one for the next gen consoles. PS5 for sure. I know I'm getting that. Xbox, I don't know. All right, let's go. Let's go. Shit. Ugh. I haven't had that smell in a minute. Alright, let me see. That's the disc. No booklet on the inside. That's the back of the case. Let's see what it says. Relive the Dragon Ball Z saga. From the arrival of Raditz to the final fight against Boo. I hope the DLC give us story stuff from Super. So I've been, I've just started watching Super, I know I'm late, because it came out in like 2015. But yeah, I'm, I'm really in it too, except for the music. I missed the Bruce Faulkner uh, score from the Dragon Ball Z series. I missed the shit out of that music. But uh, some of the music in Super is fire. But yeah, that's the unboxing. Like I said, I'm going to try to at least pump out more videos this year, even if it's like news videos or you know, topics and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, it's your boy, Rebel Rick. I'm out. Peace. About to hop on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I might be streaming it later, so be on the lookout for that. Alright, guys. See you.